So now we will start looking at properties of the Z transform. So now that we have the definition of the DT FT with us, for each property we will state the property for the Z transform and also the corresponding property for the DT FT. So the first property of course is linearity A1 x1 of n plus A2 x2 of n. So this is A1 x1 of z plus A2 x2 of z. So this property immediately follows from the linearity of the sum and the ROC will be at least as large as the intersection of the individual ROCs. If X1 had ROC1, X2 had ROC2, this will be at least as large as the intersection and uh, the ROC can be larger if we will come to this in a minute and the corresponding property for the DTFT is this again pretty straightforward here. Uh, notice that whenever we state a property for the Z transform, you will also not only give the expression but also make a statement about the ROC. On the other hand, when we are looking at the DTFT, no other qualification is added, okay, and that is because uh, yes. So, as far as the DTFT is concerned, the DTFT exists on the unit circle. Therefore, you do not have to make any further qualifications in terms of properties because we assume that if the DTFT exists, the ROC is on the unit circle, all right. Now let us look at this. So this is the first sequence and the second sequence is this a to the n u of n minus cap n and uh, the next property that we are going to see is the delay property and uh, in just a couple of steps we will be able to show what the Z transform of this second sequence is. Right now you can either work it from first principles or take this on faith. So this is mod Z greater than mod A, all right. And now if you look at this sequence that is A to the N U of N minus A to the N U of N minus cap N, then this of course is 1 minus A to the Z N Z to the minus cap N by 1 minus AZ inverse and the ROC is the entire Z plane except Z equal to 0. So here is an example where the ROC is larger than the individual ROCs and what is happening here is, so this is nothing but 
a to the n times u of n minus u of n minus cap n and uh, this is nothing but a to the n for 0 to n minus 1 and uh, this uh, transform by definition is 1 plus a z inverse plus a square z to the minus 2 up to this. So, this is a finite duration sequence and we have seen that for finite duration sequences the ROC is the entire z plane except possibly for 0 and or infinity. In this particular case only 0 is not part of the ROC. So, what is happening here is that if you look at this expression, so these two are clearly identical because they are the z transform of the same sequence and the region of convergence is larger because of pole 0 cancellation. Okay. So, the pole at z equal to a is cancelled by the 0 at z equal to a. So, this makes the ROC larger. So, this is exactly the same as what was happening in the continuous time Laplace uh, continuous time function and its associated Laplace transform. If we had x1 of t a times x1 of t plus a2 times x2 of t, the corresponding Laplace transform was a1 x1 of s plus a2 x2 of s and the ROC was once again at least as large as the intersection of the individual ROCs. There as in the case here you can have an ROC that is larger if there is pole 0 cancellation. So, this is exactly uh, a mirror of what was happening there and since in this course we will be interested only in functions with rational transfer function. If there is a pole 0 cancellation the ROC will be larger that is all. Suppose you had x of n equal to a to the n. So, the corresponding z transform is what? Use the linearity property and evaluate the z transform. So, this can be written as a to the n u of n plus a to the n u of minus n minus 1. Okay. So, why do not you work out the transforms in the individual case and then the final transform. and a to the n u of minus n minus 1 has z transform minus 1 by 1 minus a z inverse and if you are not careful superficially if you add these two in the z transform domain the two terms cancel and you will get 0 to be the answer which is clearly not right. What is happening here is this is mod z greater than mod a whereas here this is mod z less than mod a and the final ROC is 
mod z greater than mod a intersection mod z less than mod a and this of course is null. Therefore, a to the n does not possess a z transform. So, this is the counterpart of e to the a t not possessing bilateral Laplace. e to the a t u of t has Laplace which is 1 by s minus a r o c is real s greater than real a e to the a t u of t has Laplace, but e to the a t over all t does not possess bilateral Laplace. So, this is exactly the counterpart of that. 